Welcome to this basic Photoshop lesson. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some of the painting tools in Photoshop. This isn't a tutorial about how to do uh, comic book coloring or anything like that. More it's a tutorial just going through a few of the basic painting and coloring functions that Photoshop has and uh, we'll look at how a few of the basic tools work. So you can download this file. It's called Coloring Easy. It can be uh, downloaded from my website that's noted below. Once you get the file open, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to see here in the bottom right we've got only our background layer. Now I'm going to go over to my toolbar and grab the magic wand tool and using the magic wand tool I'm just going to select, oh, there it is, I'm just going to select uh, any part that is in the white area and what that's going to do is it's going to give me all the pixels, um, uh, all the white pixels of the nose for example. So click right in the nose. Once I have those selected I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to pick a color. So on my tool panel on the left hand side, we've got some different colors. Uh, the first square that you can see there, my brown one, is the foreground color and the other one is the background color. Click on the foreground color and change it to a color that you like. So just move your mouse through this spectrum of colors, find something you like. Okay, that is now going to be the color that we paint with. So uh, we're going to go and grab a paintbrush. Grab the brush tool. Now, when you grab the brush tool, and most of the tools on the left, you'll notice that along the top, uh, some of your options change. So for my brush right now, uh, by default, it's going to be sitting at normal. And uh, you can change your size to whatever you want. I would suggest changing the size to somewhere in between the 50, 60 range. That's going to be about the right size for this. Once you have that done, uh, make sure your opacity is set to 100%, which is the default. Mine has just been changed uh, a little bit lately. So, you can now paint away. You'll notice that you can only paint within the selected area. Okay. Um, over on your layers panel, we now have a layer one and you can see that uh, my nose is there. So I'm just going to change layer one, double click on that and type in nose. Okay. Now that's my nose layer. Um, there are good things about making layers for every different color and there are bad things. The good thing is if I'm not sure if I like this color or not, I can now just make a new layer, pick a new color, new foreground color. I'll do something uh, totally different here. There we go. And I can just paint, paint this one too. Okay. Now I can look at uh, my nose layer, which is pink, and my layer one, which is blue. And I can sort of see which one I like by turning them on and off. This is more of a workflow tool um, than, than anything else. And it's only if you prefer to do it this way. I'm going to do this tutorial this way just to make sure that I can always step back and fix the layers as I go through them. For now, we don't really need layer one, so I'm going to throw it in the garbage. Okay. I still have my marching ants there. I don't need those anymore, so hit Control D. That deselects. And now I'm going to try a different tool. Uh, we've done the painting tool or the paintbrush. Uh, now let's do, um, uh, we'll do the paint bucket. So what I'd like you to do now is take your magic wand and click on one of the tusks. Make sure you're on your background layer. Click on the first tusk and then you can either hold down shift, okay, that will add to a selection. Uh, depending what version you're in, you might also be able to go up to the top menu here and choose the second little double squares that is add to selection and click on the other one. Once you have two tusks selected, uh, create a new layer and now what you're going to do is go to your paint bucket tool. So on the tool menu, uh, you're going to see the gradient tool probably. Underneath the gradient tool is the paint bucket. The paint bucket just fills a space with one color. So we need to make a color, change your foreground color to something you like, and just take your paint bucket and move it right over top of the tusk. There it is. It fills the space really nicely a little bit faster than the paintbrush and again it's going to be constrained by your selection. Change layer one, change the name to tusks. Okay, control D, deselects, we'll try something else. Uh, go back to your background layer. For this one we're going to use the magic wand tool and we're going to go through um, and select all the parts of the body. Now again holding down shift always adds to a selection if you screw up, you can just control Z to undo at once and then continue on. Um, or you can hold down Alt to subtract from a selection. So we're just going to click in the main areas here. So if you look, I'm going to click in the body, but I need to get his cheek, 
and this ear and the top of this ear and the bottom of that ear. I also need the tail and the back foot and the front foot and this little piece right in this chest and I think that is just about it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this uh, piece on the belly because uh, I'll make that a different color later on. I now have everything selected that I need. Make a new layer. Uh, for this, we're gonna try the gradient tool. So underneath that paint bucket that you just used, there's the gradient. The gradient tool um, goes from color A to color B. Uh, right now, mine is going from brown to brown. So if you just click on your color swatch in the top left corner, this tells you what your gradient is going to start at and what it's gonna end at. If you just double click on any of these little crayons, you can, uh, you can change the color to something new. Okay, once you have something you like, <clears throat> by the way, you can add more than two colors. Uh, feel free to play around with this. Uh, there's lots of different options, but once you have something basic, I have a light and a dark, and I'm gonna do it uh, from the top of the body to the bottom. Um, just click okay. Your gradient tool now works uh, by drawing a line from point A to point B. Everything above the line is gonna be your first color. Everything below the line is gonna be uh, your last color. And the line itself is gonna be the transformation from color A to color B. So if I make a really long line, I'm gonna have a nice soft gradient from top to bottom. If I make a really short line, I have lots of color A, lots of color B, and then a very short transition. So I'm gonna make a long line. Now while you're fiddling around, you can take a look. Top left corner, uh, you've got different gradient types. We've got a radial gradient available, a spiral gradient. Um, we have a reflective gradient. We have a diamond gradient. Okay. So you can do all sorts of different gradients, different patterns. For this, the linear gradient is gonna work reasonably well. Okay, uh, so that's the gradient tool. Let's try something else. Let's go back to your background. Again, control D to deselect. And uh, now I'm gonna make you take your magic wand and grab all the chunks of hair. So you can grab his tail and the mane. And there's a bunch of little pieces here. Remember, shift adds to a selection. Um, Alt subtracts from a selection. If you want, you can also zoom in using the magnifying glass. So I'm just gonna zoom in a couple times here. Go back to my magic wand. Make sure I've got all these little chunks that I need. There's some really tiny ones here. Uh, that little piece, okay, that's probably gonna be good. Oh, maybe one more. Good, okay, so I've got mostly everything I want selected. I'm just gonna zoom out again. And this time I'm gonna go to Edit, Fill. Now, if you're using CS5, you are able to do Use Color, and you can go and pick a color then. If you're using anything before CS5, what you really should do is uh, go to your foreground color, Pick a new color for your foreground. Uh, I'll make it a sort of a dark brown. And go to Edit, Fill, and then Use Foreground Color. And okay. Again, just like the Paint Bucket tool, it sort of fills the space. Now you'll, you'll notice I just colored on my background, which I really didn't want to do. I'm just gonna undo that. And uh, I'm gonna go down here. Gotta get rid of my, whoops, gotta get rid of my toolbar for a second. Uh, make a new layer. There we go. And uh, I'm now going to edit fill here. Edit fill foreground color. Okay. So uh, those are a few of the uh, tools that you can use in Adobe Photoshop for painting. We've got the paintbrush, we've got the paint bucket, the gradient, edit fill. Uh, one thing that I wanted to show you that I haven't yet is the eraser tool. I'm going to move that back down to where I found it. The eraser tool is, uh, is good for obviously erasing. Um, your eraser tool has a few different options. I'm just gonna control D to get rid of my selection. Um, you have a few different options with the eraser tool. Um, in particular, at the top menu, you can choose brush sizes, okay, or you can erase as a block. Um, usually brush is the easiest because you can get really large sections. Now, the eraser tool only erases, of course, on the level that I'm on. So if I go here, it's not gonna do anything but it does a very good job of erasing anything that I screwed up on, on the hair. Now, again, if you make a selection, your erasing is gonna be um, uh, only possible within that selection. The selection always sort of uh, gives you the stuff that's gonna be uh, changeable. 
So if you want to do some very specific erasing, make sure you are on the right layer and make sure that you've made a selection of exactly what you want to uh, erase so you can get rid of it. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Those are some of the basic tools. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tune in later for a more advanced tutorial on comic book coloring, uh, how to work with uh, shadows, how to sort of make this look uh, a little more three-dimensional, give it some personality. Bye-bye.